Introducing Royal Caribbean's newest ship, Icon of the Seas, the ultimate family vacation. The ultimate six slides, eight neighborhoods, zero compromise vacation. The ultimate never done that, can't wait to do it vacation. The ultimate chillin' by a different pool every day of the week vacation. This is the Icon of Vacations. Icon of the Seas, arriving in 2024. Book today. Come seek the Royal Caribbean. Ships Registry, Bahamas. Twas the first night home for the holidays and all through your town. Not one thumb was quiet. A lot of swiping going down. You created the perfect Bumble profile with care in hopes that your dream guy or gal may be out there. When what to your wandering eyes should appear but a ton of faces you haven't seen in years. There's a rando from high school, your ex from eighth grade, a kid you used to babysit, and your literal Uncle Dave. As cringe as this feels, the only thing worse would be if one of them stumbled upon your profile first. But there's no need to panic or erase your face from the app. You can go incognito with one simple tap. Disappear from the others till you say they're a match and have more fun finding your next hometown catch. With peace of mind and your profile hidden from sight, happy holidating to all and to all a good night. Happy holidating with incognito mode from Bumble. Download today. This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 2398. Going gluten and dairy-free. Tips from a mom who misses pizza. By Shauna Sclafe of simpleonpurpose.ca. And I'm Dr. Neil Malik. Hey there, and welcome to another Bonus Sunday episode, where I share an article from one of the other podcasts in our network. Today's post comes from Optimal Relationships Daily, where articles covering all types of relationships are read to you every day. So with that, let's hear this one from Greg as we optimize your life. Going gluten and dairy-free. Tips from a mom who misses pizza. By Shauna Scaife of simpleonpurpose.ca. I love how gluten firmly binds everything, yet remains pillowy and moist. I adore the rich creaminess of versatile dairy, but we cannot be together. No, it is forbidden. It is taboo. Yes, I am talking to the block of Havarti in my fridge as I place my hand over my forehead and fling shut the fridge door. I went gluten and dairy-free in November 2012 to help alleviate my breastfed baby's reflux, and it helped. While we navigate this weaning scenario, I am already planning my comeback meals. I hope to soon be reunited with these dubious foods for a culinary rendezvous that will end with me smiling and unresponsive in a food coma. So, I'm just beginning this GFDF excursion. I'm not a pro by any means. I am always learning by trial and error, but here are some tips that I hope will help you if you are going gluten and dairy-free. Unsubscribe from Pinterest food boards. Seriously, these pins are like the seductive cage dancers, enticing you to stay for an extra plate of chicken wings against all of your better judgment. Save yourself from getting hangry and click unfollow on that ooey-gooey, fluffy, gluten-clad, dairy-filled board. Learn the ingredient names. Learn all the ingredients to look for to ensure the product is GF and DF. For instance, did you know there is gluten in soy sauce? Don't worry, there is a great gluten-free alternative. Get some simple substitutes. Learn some everyday substitutions, like lettuce for buns, quinoa for oatmeal. Then stock the pantry. Here are some ideas of substitutes to be on the lookout for. Soy sauce, gluten-free. Worcestershire sauce, gluten-free. Butter, vegan. Milk, vegan. Flours, gluten-free, all-purpose. Yogurt, dairy-free. Sour cream, dairy-free. And breads and buns, gluten-free. Write a list of meals in your repertoire. Having a routine with shopping and cooking is a real time saver. You have to start at square one again. So, make a list of regular family meals and note the ones that are GF and DF. Then, note the ones that could be GF and DF with simple substitutions or foregoing an extra, like cheese on pasta. Try to reimagine your food. Fillings you love in a sandwich or wrap could go on a bed of lettuce or rice. Keep this as your master list for meal planning. 
Research and Cyberstock. All of my inspiration comes from hours of me browsing the net and salivating on my keyboard when everyone is in bed. It usually ends in me mind-punching Pinterest, eating some potato chips and pickles, and adding a few new hopeful recipes to the meal plan. Pinterest is a great place for ideas. There are also stellar blogs out there, and of course, you can make use of the Instagram hashtags, or kick it old school, and phone a friend who may have some ideas. Check out my Pinterest board for an ever-expanding list of GF and DF meals and snacks. Also, check out Yumly. This is a recipe database that allows you to specify ingredients you want to include or exclude, and you can tick off the food allergies you have. Plan it out. Make a menu plan, include the GFDF snacks and meals, as well as any meals for non-GFDF members of the family. You aren't bound to the plan, but at least you can have everything on hand and do some advanced prep where possible. I like to spend a few hours before hubby returns to work making salads, muffins, batter, etc. I may not always get a full meal made, but there are always potato chips and pickles to fall back on. Meal planning saves time and money. Here's some ways I like to get her done via paper or plastic. Come prepared. When you are traveling, staying at someone's place, eating out, etc., make sure you BYOF bring your own food. Keep extra muffins in the freezer to pull out for trips. Keep a bag handy filled with nuts, dried fruit, granola bars, Thai house peanut noodles, potato chips, pickles, etc. You don't want to be that guest with a list of culinary demands. So bring your own, and maybe enough to share so your friends and family can see that living without doesn't mean you are living with less. Trial and error. Nothing makes me lose my ish like putting my limited time and effort into a new, exciting recipe with all these special ingredients and to have the meal completely flop, especially when you are rounding the bend from hungry to hangry. Then there are those victories where you make something everyone around the table loves and you smile when they joke, I can't believe it's not gluten. Keep all your receipts. If you have proper documentation, you may be able to write off the extra cost of eating gluten-free. You just listened to the post titled, Going Gluten and Dairy-Free, Tips from a Mom Who Misses Pizza, by Shauna Scaife of simpleonpurpose.ca. T'was the first night home for the holidays, and all through your town, not one thumb was quiet, a lot of swiping going down. You created the perfect Bumble profile with care in hopes that your dream guy or gal may be out there. When what to your wandering eyes should appear but a ton of faces you haven't seen in years. There's a rando from high school, your ex from eighth grade, a kid you used to babysit, and your literal Uncle Dave. As cringe as this feels, the only thing worse would be if one of them stumbled upon your profile first. But there's no need to panic or erase your face from the app You can go incognito with one simple tap. Disappear from the others till you say they're a match and have more fun finding your next hometown catch. With peace of mind and your profile hidden from sight, happy holidating to all and to all a good night. Happy holidating with incognito mode from Bumble. Download today. Apple Gift Card is a practical gift that unlocks a world of entertainment and fun. You can send it via email or give a physical card to your loved ones. Your friends and family can spend it on their favorite Apple services, including Apple subscriptions. Apple Gift Card can be used to buy all things Apple. Products, accessories, apps, games, movies, TV shows, iCloud Plus, and more. Visit apple.com for details and to send Apple Gift Cards to your friends and family this holiday season. Thank you to Shauna for a wonderful post offering a slightly different flavor. Pun than what we're used to here on ORD. This is a really important guide for parents, or anyone really, who are trying to change the dietary habits of their household. It's one of those things that so many people are curious about doing. But most come up short, not because of the lack of good options, but rather the lack of a system. There are many hurdles for those who are gluten or dairy-free in a world populated mostly by people who aren't. So the stress alone about trying something like that without a lot of support is enough to convince someone not to. 
So Shauna is reminding us that whether it's for this or some other endeavor that you feel might be too tough to swing, putting a system in place beforehand is much more practical and gives you a chance to explore your options and just breathe before committing to something that you feel you should approach solely with willpower. And when it comes to the health of your children, that system is going to be extra important, not only because they're precious cargo, but because they're also feisty cargo that tests your willpower regularly. So on that note, parents, good luck. We're going to wrap it up now. But if the stresses of parenting are still weighing on you, no worries. We will be back with another wonderful parenting post tomorrow, this time from Kaylin Bruce of Freedom Sprout, who always has a creative way of looking at parenting and how to help your children make the most of themselves. So don't miss out on that. Be sure to tune back in tomorrow, where your optimal life awaits.